Hey, what's up guys? It's Nick from Big Bear Weather and More. I just wanted to show you guys some new merch, some different colors, different designs. Check this out. All designs, all colors, and all merch at BigBearWeatherMore.com. Everybody. It's March 29th, 2024. Uh, calm before the storm. Calm before maybe the second biggest storm of the season. And forgive me, I'm 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 not feeling good at all. Uh, thankfully, we've had the, this past three days off without having, <clears throat> having to do any videos to give me some time to, to like to, to recover. I I got really sick. I think I'm getting better, but I'm still feeling totally horrible. But. Hope you guys are doing well. I am excited about the possibilities of this storm coming through. Um, we could by Sunday night, if everything pans out, if everything pans out, get 15 inches of snow. Which, as I said, that that could actually be our biggest storm if that's how much snow falls at my house. But personally, I don't think we're gonna get any more than maybe eight to 10 inches. But still, that'll still be if it if it, if that does happen, it'll still be the second biggest snowfall that we've had all season. So that would be exciting. Let's hope it happens. This isn't going to be the longest calm before the storm video because I want to make sure that uh, I get rested because I'm going to have to go out at like two or three in the morning to start the storm off, and I want to make sure that I'm. All there for you guys. chamber <laughs> it's very annoying but anyway right there there's a shop called get boards that's where you want to rent your skis and snowboards <clears throat> that's two blocks away from our village here and then here's their other shop one block away from the village we're, and we're turning in the into the village <clears throat> that first shop right there that I just showed you that's their snowboard shop if you mention that you're a friend of the channel, they will take care of you and they'll wax your own skis and snowboards if you bring it in for free if you mention you're a friend of the channel. So go take advantage of that, you guys. And uh, just know that you are definitely gonna be around a lot of people who care. They are some pretty amazing people in there. The whole staff, guys, they're, they're just awesome. Very intelligent. They all know exactly what they're doing. I know the owner, Tony, gives them like rigorous education when it comes to this stuff because it is important how they, you know, set your bindings and and the proper boot size and uh, just everything. There's there are so 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 many different little logistics that go into um, keeping you safe on the mountain, and a lot of people do not realize that. If they screw something up, you can have a, a really, really bad day. If Kind of like when you uh, french fry when you're supposed to pizza, you're gonna have a bad time. You're gonna have a bad time. Um, and as you can see, I'm trying to grow like an Amish beard. I think I'm about ready to go off the grid. No more grid.
great for me. Alright. So the village is looking cool. As you can see, there's zero snow, so this storm is going to be amazing. Because when there's no snow anywhere around here, it, it like that's what I love about these calm before the storm videos is it gives you such a great perspective so you can see how the town looks before the snowfall. And, and once the snow falls, guys, everything's going to look like, like it's going to be a completely different town. And it's just a, a wonderful thing. I love it. I love it. And hey, one more little little plug for a great business owner up here. His name is Sahil. He owns Big Bear Smoke and Vape. Um, again, I'm not trying to encourage the smoking and the vape thing, but I know it's part of a lot of people's lives. And also, they don't just have smoke and vape stuff. They've got other little local trinkets and stuff like that. Um, some articles of clothing and stuff. They're, they're just really, really cool, cool, cool people who made me feel welcome here and uh, he's never changed he's always been a really really good dude to me and uh, and, I, and he's he doesn't charge the exorbitant tourist prices that you'll see up here so give him a shot he's got two shops one right across the street from the second or, or from the uh, first get boards ski and snowboard rental shop as a matter of fact, when we drive by right now, I will show you. And then his second shop is in Big Bear City. And his second shop is a lot bigger. That's his original shop. A lot bigger. Hey, Mr. FedEx. How you doing today, sir? So I don't know how much rest I'm going to be able to attain today, but I'm going to do, do the best I can. As I've always promised you guys, no matter what, I'm never going to let you guys down. No matter what I am going through, I'm always going to do what I have to do. <sighs> always. But yeah, guys, there's, there's just no snow anywhere. Even the little patches of like ice. Oh, actually, I see one right now. Right there in front of the Robin Hood Resort. Another cool, cool place to stay. That's part of the Robin Hood Resort also right here. And everything across the street there. After my mom sold her cabin in Lake Arrowhead when I was about 15, when I was in my early 20s, coming up here by myself, and a couple friends, we'd stay here at the Robin Hood Resort. And it, it was it was the place I'd stay always. <clears throat> All right, so I'm just gonna show you guys real quickly as we're driving back. We're gonna take a, a detour back, but okay, so here's the second get boards right on the corner there. There's one of the smoke shops in that shopping center right there. So right across from the ski shop, the Get Board Ski Shop, is Big Bear Smoking Bay. And again, guys, I'm I'm gonna highlight owners up here who treat you guys with a lot of love, no matter what the business is. As I said, like the whole smoke and vape thing might not be for me. When I moved up here, it certainly was. That wasn't the only thing that was for me. There was a lot of other things that were for me too. Oh, man. And also, <clears throat> Sorry, just to talk about this stuff, but we already got kind of some of the weather stuff out of the way, right? 
a good friend of mine, Mike, he owns the Big Bear Bar and Grill. The ownership is is doing them totally wrong. I think their rent is going up to like thirteen or sixteen thousand dollars per month. So they're losing everything. And his partners are a married couple and they are well everyone's losing everything. And it's 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 just amazing because the place isn't that big. So to charge as much as they were and then jack the prices up like that, absolutely horrifying. And uh, I just hope all of you who have run businesses and lost your business can keep these keep these folks in your thoughts and prayers because uh, they're really good people. Mike is extremely humble. Um, yeah, I golf with the guy. He's just a really, really nice guy. And he looks like Johnny Drama from uh, uh, Entourage. Looks just like Johnny Drama. He's such a cool dude, man. So, heartbreaking situation. And what's even worse is about nine months ago, they had got contracted to be on Bar Rescue, you guys. The Bar Rescue team came up here for like numerous interviews and they decided that they were gonna put that place on the show. And I don't know what happened, but it, 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 it fell through somehow. Um, so, I mean, they could have changed, ev turned every everything around. Not that they were doing super bad, but they'd have so much more business and the few thousand dollars jump in the rent probably would be something that, that they could, you know, just say to the owner, take that buddy, we got your money. But yeah, it's quite unfortunate. I don't like seeing people who took a lot of risks, spent a lot of money, sacrificed a lot, go through stuff like this. It's just not right. Anyway. But yeah, guys, when it comes to our snowstorm, as I said, it's supposed to start around 2 or 3 in the morning. Let me double check that right now and see if it's, uh, if it's still the plan. Yep, 2 a.m. And then between 4 a.m. and 7 a.m., that's going to be the heaviest of the entire storm. So maybe because of that fact, maybe I'll do a short video as soon as it starts snowing, just so you guys can see it just started. And then a couple hours later, I'll go out for the super crazy part of the storm. And then, of course, I'll be going out a couple times more on Saturday and and Sunday as well. view right there a little tiny bit but yeah this whole area is gonna be so gorgeous I'm so excited but yeah guys I think that's gonna be the uh, <coughs> the calm before the storm and again sorry I'm so lackluster right now and just not feeling good But again, this is what separates the men from the boys. I'm not gonna call in sick ever. 
no matter what I'm going through. Even last year, when I was sick, I, I was so sick I had to go to the hospital, and I even made a video from the hospital. Because I am not gonna be that guy. But yeah. We are, yeah guys, we are about done here. So thank you guys again for everything. Thanks for being such a support. I appreciate you guys. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna park right here. And we're gonna be done. Don't forget, if you guys enjoy what I do and wanna support the major efforts I put into this, please go to bigbearweatherandmore.com. Hit the like and subscribe button. Share these videos. And uh, yeah, thank you for everything. There's other ways you can help too. Go in, in the description of the videos and there's ways you can donate to the cause. Every, everything helps. So thank you, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out, March 29th, 2024. Bye.